For more information, check out my blog, dukai.com. Follow me. Hi guys, there's nothing on my skin right now except for my Farsali Volcanic Elixir and I also primed my skin with Benefit Professional. I also have Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme on my lips and that's why they look super plump. So I'm going to start with my skin first. I'm going to be mixing my Chanel Perfection Lumiere with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the color Opal. And I'm going to apply this all over my face. And by mixing that Shimmering Skin Perfector, it's just going to make it look a little bit more dewy and glowy. And I'm just blending that onto my skin with my Beauty Blender. All product names and details will be in the description box below, like always. So I'm just really buffing that into my skin. If you have oily skin, I don't recommend mixing a liquid illuminator in with your foundation because it can make you look a little oily. Then I'm going to take my MAC concealer palette and I'm just going to conceal under my eyes. I'm taking the yellowish shade and I'm mixing the lighter shade together and this is going under my eyes between my brows, Cupid's bow and yeah, that's about it. And I'm also going to blend this on with my beauty blender. This product is new to me and I actually really, really love it. This concealer palette is awesome. So just blending that on, making sure everything's seamless. And then I wanted to add a little bit more light under the eyes, so I just took my MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost and added a little bit of that right under the eyes and between the eyebrows just to add more brightness and more light. Once that's nicely blended in, I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just going to push this onto the under eye just to make sure that does not budge and it stays in place all day. I love this powder from Rimmel. It is better than a lot of higher end powders that I've ever used. It's just amazing. Then I'm taking this contour product by Becca and I'm just going to contour my face with this. This is a very shadowy type of color. It's not warm toned or anything like that. It's very cool toned. It really mimics a shadow. So I'm just going to go in the contour areas, hairline, temples, tip of my nose, jawline, the usual contour spots. And I'm going to let those creams sit on my face for a little while while I work on my eyes. So for my eyes, I'm going to start with my brows first. I'm just taking my Sigma Brow Wax, just molding my brows into place, and I'm taking my favorite product for brows, which is Brun Eyeshadow by MAC, and I'm just filling in the sparse areas of my brows. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's a little tiny bald spot in my brows, and I think that's because of the MAC Brow Set, which makes me really sad because whenever I use that, I notice that my eyebrow hairs fall out, so really sad about that. Has that happened to any of you guys before? Leave a comment below. Then I'm going to take my eyeshadow primer and I'm going to prime my lids and blend this on. Less is more with primer. You don't want to put too much otherwise it defeats the purpose. So just keep that in mind and just really blending that on. Then I'm going to start with my gold shadow from MAC and I'm just going to push this all over the entire lid. And this shadow is very buildable so I'm just building, 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 building until I get the color payoff that I like. You could use this shadow wet, but I didn't want to make it look metallic exactly. Like I didn't want that metallic look. I wanted a golden color, but nothing metallic. So just really building up that color. Oh, and all the brushes that I'm using will be in the description box below as well. Then I'm going to take texture eyeshadow and this is just going to go very lightly into the crease just to add a little bit of dimension and very, very lightly on the outer third of the eye. I'm not applying too much of this shadow because I will be using another shadow in the crease as well. Then I'm just going to add some light to my eyes. I'm taking this new Sigma eyeliner from their Steady Glow collection. I think it's called Steady Glow. Obsessed with this collection. Everything is so beautiful. But I'm just going to line my waterline with this just to open up the eyes and give the illusion of wide awake, bigger eyes. So popping that into the waterline and then I'm going to go ahead into my Lorac Pro palette. I'm going to pick up Sable on a big fluffy brush and this is going to go in the crease starting at the outer crease and outer third of the eye and just really buffing that in. I'm not really taking that into the inner corner. Then I'm going to take that first eyeshadow texture from MAC and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line. And I'm going to intensify the lash line as I go along. So I'm going to pick up whatever colors I used on the lid. Not the gold color but the browns. So now I'm taking Sable from the Lorac Pro palette and I'm really buffing that onto my lower lash line. And as you can see, I'm going a little thicker in the centers of my eye to give the illusion of bigger, rounder eyes. 
Sable from the Lorac Pro Palette is probably one of my favorite browns ever. It's such a beautiful reddish tone brown. Then I'm going to take Espresso from the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm going to take a very tiny angled brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to line very close to my lash line and just keep it really close to the lash line just to define the lashes and to define the eye a little bit. Like you can see the difference between the eye that's lined and the eye that's not lined. It just adds a lot of definition to the eyes and I'm making sure that I'm opening it up in the inner corner and not closing that off because I do want the illusion of larger eyes. Now I'm going to take my Inglot Gel Eyeliner and the same angled brush that I used on my lower lash line. I'm just going to create a very thin eyeliner and I'm going to create a tiny little baby wing. I'm not going too crazy with my eyeliner here, just a small baby wing is all I want. Once the eyeliner is done, I'm just going to touch up the lower lash line a little bit and build on that color and then we are going to highlight the brow bone with Brulee by MAC. This is just a matte shadow since everything on the lid is mostly a shimmer. Then I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm back to my dream team which is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous with the L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes. Just Put on that mascara and just lay it on. You guys know how I like to pile on the mascara. It's a bad habit, but I love it. So just building that up, and there are the eyes almost done. I'm going to put mascara on my lower lashes, but not just yet. Then I'm going to work on my face now that the creams have been sitting there for a little while. I'm just going to bronze up my skin with this Buxom bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer of life. It smells like coconuts, and it's just a beautiful finish. So just buffing that onto my skin. And then I'm going to take my highlighter from Estee Lauder and pop this onto the high points of my cheeks, brow bone, bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. You guys know the usual deal. Wherever I normally pile on the highlighter, that's where it's going. And then for blush, I'm going to start with Gingerly by MAC. This is a matte blush. And I'm just going to add this just for a tiny little hint of color onto the cheeks. And then I'm going to take Topaz Shimmering Skin Perfector from Becca. And I'm going to put that right over top of that blush and blend it back into the bronzer to get a nice glowing bronzy look. And then I'm going to take my dual fiber brush and just blend everything so there's no harsh lines and everything is nicely blended. Lining my lips first with MAC Strip Down Lip Liner because no matter what lip color I'm wearing, I always use that lip liner first. Then I'm going to take my Aveda Lip Liner and just line my lips very gently, nothing too crazy. Then I'm going to use this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick that I got as a sample from Sephora. This product is amazing. It's very moisturizing, non-drying at all, super pigmented and lasts forever. So just lay that on and there's the entire makeup look done. Just showing you the contour and the lips and the eyes and now I gotta do something with my hair. So I just did my hair. Uh, here's my nail polish. It's by Tuesday in Love. It's a halal nail polish so it's water permeable so that's a bonus. <laughs> then I'm just touching up my waterline and applying some mascara on my lower lashes. Once I get the mascara on the lower lashes, the entire makeup look is done. And here it is. Just some awkward posing. <laughs> yeah, I get shy, that's why I laugh. And there, oh, there are my bat wings. I was just being silly with my dress because it's a kimono sleeve dress. I got the dress from ASOS, it's a wrap dress. Um, it's a very heavy v-neck, so I had to sew it and get it altered a little bit by my mom. Thanks, mom. And I decided to go for red shoes. I love monochromatic looks, so I decided to do all red everything. So here is the entire dress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!